first thing we came up with is, okay, let's actually talk to real consumers. So try to understand in focus groups, what are the key barriers? What are things they think about? What gets them to actually think about buying an appliance? And we did that and we came up with a, a couple of hypotheses. We also um, looked at the academic research and looked at some of the behavioral psychology behind purchases. Some, there are things like people are overwhelmed by choices, for example, or concerned um, about losing money versus saving money. So these kinds of things. And we, we took all of this academic insight and focus group information and designed a quantitative survey. We try to say what's an interesting question that the students we think can make a real contribution to in just a semester. And so that contribution often involves uh, some research. Maybe it's research that the company helps us. Maybe it's research that students do on their own. They try to develop, they, they read a lot of academic literature also, try to develop a framework. They have this framework. They try to test some ideas with some primary research. And we have to sort of structure and guide. As faculty, we structure and guide that process. I'll do that usually in collaboration with some of my colleagues. So for a particular project, depending on where it goes, a different team of faculty will be assembled that makes sense for that, you know, to try to bring the expertise to bear that are relevant to the project that we happen to develop, you know, with that particular affiliate. So it's really different than the classes that I have for the rest of the day at SOM. It's working with, um, I guess there's four other people in my group, four other students, and we get together every week for three hours and we discuss discuss the problem, discuss, you know, it's depending on where we are in our, in our um, process, in our um, project process, we, we talk about the problems that came about that week, any research that we did independently, and we have a really good, you know, brainstorming sessions and discussion sessions every week. That we also included in that time is, is time directly working with the professor. So they'll often come in at the beginning of the session and sit down with us, make sure that we're on track. They'll also give us um, some insights in, in you know, what directions to head. For example, at the beginning, we weren't really sure exactly where to start at all. So they pointed us in the direction of a number of academic journals or people here on campus that we should talk to to get a good grounding in the, in the questions that we were looking to answer. For our final presentation, we were actually invited by Visa to their headquarters in San Francisco. And it was really exciting presenting to the VP of marketing and other you know, high profile people in the company. And I think what was most exciting for me was at the end of the, the presentation when um, the VP of marketing you know, turned to one of our professors and said, we've only just begun to, to crack this code. And, you know, maybe we should continue doing research on this issue and this will become a relationship between uh, Visa and the school. And he said, you know, for Yale School of Management, you could become the premier academic researchers on this issue. And for us, we can become the premier practitioners. And it was exciting just to see that whatever we had done in the past four months planted a seed in his mind that, that you know, it was going to keep the ball rolling and that they wanted to dig deeper. And, and that was, that was just exciting to, to be sort of the seed of, of that uh, future. This project really has direct relevance for, for what I'm going to be doing further down the line. And it, it'll be really interesting to sort of see, say, five years from now, how this initial, this initial framework stands up. The curriculum is very much about taking different disciplines, different skills, different tools to bear on a problem. Right? So the business world doesn't throw things at you with a label across the top that says this is econ issue, this is a finance issue, this is a marketing issue, right? Situations just arise and you try to react to them and innovate and develop, you know, organizational responses that are most suited. This gives people a real chance to practice that. I mean, because these are real situations that a company is facing that are complex where we don't know what the issues are going in. We don't know what kind of tools we'll need. And we, you know, as we investigate, we learn about what the problem is as much as we're learning about the solutions might be. And so it gives them a real chance to apply all the things they've learned and to bring, especially across a team, bring a very different set of skills to try to develop a few new skills if they need them and say, let me dig into this problem. We're trying to make sense out of something that's confusing and something that other people haven't been able to make sense out of. And that act, when you're going out and doing that, uh, has a lot more long-term meaning. I mean, whether you succeed or fail in that regard, there's a lot more risk involved and there's a lot more personal involvement and effort. And I think that I'll definitely take uh, that with me going forward. And I also think that I'll take the, the type of um, you know, professional development that I've gotten from working closely with professors at SOM that you wouldn't otherwise get. 
I mean, there's very few classes where you have a group of five people and you have two professors working with you. I think that that's, that's fairly unique and you do that on a, you know, a weekly basis. So uh, that, I mean, that in and of itself is a real benefit that many other classes don't offer.